I'm Terry Clark and I'm running for Cheshire County Treasurer. Right. I live here in Keene. I'm married to my wife, Dr. Skye Stevenson. I have four grown children and two grandkids, one of which just finished swimming lessons. There you go, Jason. Um, educationally, I have a Bachelor's of, of, of Arts degree in Public Affairs Journalism and uh, some paralegal training. Um, I was in the Army and uh, I did electrical power gen uh, generation. Uh, right now I'm retired, but I do do uh, real estate um, on the side, uh, so I have plenty of time for you. Uh, I've been involved in many organizations throughout the, oh, I guess I've been here 57, 58 years. Uh, you know, they include, right now I'm on the board of the Monadnock Area Drug and Alcohol Coalition. I've been on the, uh, uh, the board of the Community Kitchen and um, in past in other towns, the uh, Slate Covered Bridge Restoration Committee, the United Way, March of Dimes, Muscular Dystrophy, and some of you may remember the Keene JCs. Um, big brothers, big sisters, and of course, like I said, uh, I served uh, our country in the Army and the 82nd Airborne. Um, right now, I'm a member of the Keene City Council. Um, I'm also a New Hampshire Department of Transportation Highway Commissioner. I have served on the Monadnock School District Budget Committee and the Keene Community, B, um, excuse me, the Keene Community Goals Committee and the Keene Long Range Planning Committee. Um, a couple years ago, I was on the Keene Heritage Commission and the Keene Cable Commission, and uh, I co-chaired the Keene Drug Addiction Task Force. Um, why I'm running for uh, treasurer? Well, I have an interest in promoting efficient government. And the office of treasurer is very well defined, and it's a real matter of fact public office. Is, um, you know, the primary duties include maintaining custody of, uh, of, the, uh, of the money, um, all of the money that, uh, that, that comes into the county and is paid out of the treasury. Uh, the treasurer has to keep an accounting of it. There is money that uh, is not being used uh, in the budget. Um, so the county treasurer um, has to invest those excess county funds uh, pursuant to state law. There, there's very strict and uh, um, um, specific uh, funds and such that you can use uh, to, uh, to invest the money safely. And um, they also, um, excuse me, the, the treasurer uh, also borrows money uh, with, uh, you know, when the commissioners and the uh, state legislators decide that we want to build a new building or something, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the treasurer is the one who does that. And, um, and finally, they issue warrants, and this is probably the most important part, you know, they issue warrants to the towns and assess their towns and um, make sure that they pay the taxes that are due um, uh, the, the, the county. Because uh, right now, um, in the state of New Hampshire, we pay uh, a city tax, a school tax, and a county tax, as well as a small, um, I, I guess, a, um, a school tax that's for the state. Um, as far as my experience, I've, I've served uh, on several financial positions, both public and private. Right now, um, as I said, I'm in the Keene City Council. Uh, I'm a member of the Finance Organization and Personnel Committee. Um, I've um, been on the Monadnock School District Budget Committee, as I said, and the Community Kitchen Finance Committee, as well as writing and maintaining budgets for my own and other private businesses for the past 17 years. So when you vote on uh, November, um, I hope that you'll keep me in mind, and uh, I just want to say, please vote. Thank you very much for your time.